Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm doing a, a an AD and D story here. It's not really a story. It's kind of like uh, advice to younger, less experienced dungeon masters. I started running Advanced Dungeons and Dragons in 1979. I'm an old fart, just like the I'm the Grumpy Old Fart, um, and I've been called that many times by my D and D group, and that's where it came from, to be honest. Uh, that's where the title came from. So, um, this particular video is on what the what is affectionately called TPK, and affectionately might not be the right word. <laughs> it's infamously called TPKs, Total Party Kills. One of the most devastating things that can happen to any group of players is the dreaded Total Party Kill. He dies, she dies, everybody dies. And that's from a movie called Heavy Metal. If you've not seen it, it's animated. It's wonderful. Um, a TPK can be caused by any number of things. And, and you're going to run into this eventually. Uh, it's never good to kill off any player character. Killing off a number of player characters is, is never good. Sometimes it's necessary. Killing off the entire party. And sometimes it's not even your fault. I've had player characters kill off each other by accident with fumbles and things. I, sometimes it's not your fault. Okay. <clears throat> I got a list of stuff here. Some of them, none of these are the dungeon master's fault, but they all resulted in to total party kills. Here we go. I had a player character wizard and I talked about this in the, in the, I want to say it's a staff of the magi or a staff of power. might've been the staff of power video. Um, he used a retributive strike in a tavern where the entire party was present, and he did it because a an orc, a half orc, had happened to be in the in the in the tavern at the time. Threatened him. It was a half orc. That was it. Just it, it was a it was a a zero level NPC and you know, you know a one hit die critter so to speak, and posed no threat to anyone. He could have beat on that wizard eight or ten times and not killed him. But the wizard, oh, retributive strike! <laughs> killed everybody in the tavern, including the players. Total party kill. No idea why he did it, but it wasn't my fault. Um, check out my video, <laughs> When the Entire Party is Stupid. <laughs> I, was a, I was a player character in that one. Uh, yeah, I... I I died. Everybody died. Um, the, when the entire party is stupid, and we were, we were stupid. Tactical misjudgments. There's only thir there's only thirty of them, guys. We can take them. Or or the infamous. It's only a dragon. <laughs> that that one gets me. That one gets me. It's only a dragon, you know. I've had parties wiped out like that. Um, and, and it's not your fault. If there's an army over there and these six player characters decide to go over there and attack that army, let the chips fall where they may. They're, they're, they, you know, they deserve to die. I'm sorry. They earned it. They worked hard for it. They earned it. Um, not knowing when to keep your mouth shut. I had a player character like this. Actually, I've had a number of player characters like this. Um, listen here. I don't care if you are a king. I, I think you're stupid, and I think blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's that's a quick way to get, get killed. And, and if the party defends them, they're all going to die, too. I've had a number of players kill entire parties like that. Because the king won't put up with that shit. I'm sorry. He's not going to do it. Uh, I had one player character who was so vital to the kingdom. He was running a wizard. He was so vital to the kingdom with all the stuff he was doing. He walked in and said, hey, King, how you doing? And got away with it. So, it's not always, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta make a judgment call there. Um, this is the one of the most infamous ones. Splitting the party. Never, 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 never split the party. You get these guys who go, well, I think half of us should go that way and half of them just okay don't do it stay together if your party decides to split up 
and there's warning signs and they ignore them or you say well maybe y'all should sit together and they ignore you that's on them okay but as a general rule in dungeons and dragons this is for everybody players and dungeon masters alike never 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 split the party okay uh argumentative players this will happen in every game i don't care what you say mr dm i'm gonna go kill that giant or that dragon or that titan or whatever the hell you know it happens and of course the party wanting the cohesiveness yeah if he thinks he can do it maybe we should trust him Boom, and they go or we have to back up our guy and they all die had a party attacked a family of storm giants one time and it was it was it was a misunderstanding it was it, it wasn't even necessary but they did and the 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 three adult storm giants in the group obliterated the entire party if you don't if you don't understand the power of a storm giant go read them up they're in the monster manual go read up on them okay uh apathetic players <laughs> well, i don't care whatever you know those those guys you get them in every group or you know you're going around okay what are you doing okay what are you doing what are you doing and every time when you get to them huh what what's going on you know those guys those guys will kill a party believe it or not they will um my favorite one should we go to the question the librarian or should you go try to find the thieves guild oh, i don't care what are you going to do okay let's go find the thieves guild and then the entire party gets killed by thieves i've had that happen um misunderstanding or underestimating other people's motives this actually happened in a in a campaign with a group of uh i want to say eighth level characters roughly the, the wizard actually came out and said i doubt that barbarian village will mind if we teleport in if you read up on the description of barbar and, and there was a barbarian in the group that was the sad part if you read up on the on the description of barbarians um they, they don't like magic users they don't like magic they're I, I equate it to you know superstition oh it's an evil it's a witch it's evil burn it you know kind of thing they will they do not like wizards and that i think part of it comes from the uh the old conan comic books the, the conan stories robert e howard i think that's I, I, if i'm if i mess that up please tell me i for, forget but i believe it's robert e howard uh l sprague de camp those guys uh barbarians don't like wizards period barbarians hate magic according to the books teleporting into a barbarian village is asking to be killed and they got killed i i don't i don't care there was a, i want to say there was four ninth level characters eighth or ninth level characters and 150 barbarians first level barbarians you give me 150 rolls yeah, I'm rolling some crits. <laughs> okay, they all died. They didn't last the first round. Um, and my absolute favorite way of a justified total party kill is when a majority of the players are ghosting. And I've talked about this in some other videos. And I have a house rule that if the if the players you have a, you have a group of players, anybody who can't make it to the game is considered ghosting. One would hope that there's a reason you can't make it to the game, but you know. And in ghosting essentially means uh, the, 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 the player character is with the group and he's traveling with them. That way they don't get left behind. They can't do anything to help or hinder the group. Uh, they don't get any experience because they're, they're not actually being played. Uh, and they're immune from death or damage unless the entire party dies. And then they die as well. I make that understood at the beginning of every game, every campaign. Excuse me, every campaign that I run. This is how I do it because I don't want to have to backtrack with player characters. Oh, they left you over here in this cave. Blah 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 blah. You know, it it makes everything easier. But players tend to get pissed when they they call up and say, "Okay, I can make it to the game this week. It doesn't matter. Your character died. What? 
Why did you die? The whole party died. But I, I, I wasn't there. Yeah, but you were ghosting. A party of, uh, of eight and three people showed. Now, I planned the game for a party of eight. Three people showed up. The three people decided to continue on the adventure, and I gave them every option. I said, hey, you know, maybe you guys should do something else this time, not continue on this particular path because there's shit over there that was designed for eight. Uh, you know, I, I thought there was going to be eight people here, so I planned the bad guys accordingly, and, you know, uh, maybe you should take a side quest, go, go, go to this village, relax for a little bit, we'll do something over there, that kind of thing, for this session. No, they wanted to continue. They were they were dead set on getting this mission. We can do it. We can do it. We're badass. We can do it. And they all died. <coughs> um, the five ghosting player characters also died. This is not the dungeon master's fault. This is the player's fault. You can say, well, the, the ghosting player should have been there. You can say the, the three that did show should have had better common sense. You can say whatever. You gave them the option to get out. They didn't. That's on them. Um, these are only some of the reasons that an entire party can get wiped out. There are many, many more. I do not enjoy the moniker of Killer Dungeon Master. I try not to overmatch the players in my game. I try to create a, a challenge without overpowering them. There, there used to be a uh, tournaments where they would have killer dungeons. Thing, dungeons nobody is supposed to survive. And if you could survive those, I know one guy, his name's Gerald Gingry. He could survive killer dungeons because he, he had that mindset. He was a vicious... He, he, Gerald is the greatest guy in the world. He would bend over backwards to help you. He would give you the shirt off his back. You put him in a role-playing game, that's a vicious bastard. He will do whatever it takes to survive. He will chew through dead corpses to survive if he has to. Okay. Gerald is one of my best friends. He's freaking awesome. Um, at any rate, the idea is to give the players a challenge to overcome, but not to overwhelm them with numbers or enemies they cannot defeat. Now, there's a difference between you're being attacked by a thousand armed individuals. A thousand armed individuals is a hell of a thing that it's going to wipe out just about any party. If it's, you know, with even a modicum of luck, they're going to, a thousand rolls, how many crits are you going to make? Do the math. One in 20, you know? Here's the thing. If you see an army of 10,000 over there and they're going that way and your guys are hiding over here in the woods, you, in the, you know, if the party decides to attack that, that's not your fault. Okay. That's window dressing that the party decided to engage. <laughs> Um, but sometimes you want to create a puzzle uh, or a situation they have to figure out, a trap they have to get past. Uh, the whole point is to make sure that your character, your players, are having fun. Total party characters are total party kills. Excuse me, are no fun for anyone. But sometimes they are justified. If you mention to your players that they're down to four to five hit points each and the, the eight ancient huge red dragons haven't been touched and the party intentionally chooses to press the attack, I'm sorry, that's a TPK. And it's not your fault. They had the opportunity to run away. They chose to attack. So, keep in mind, total party kills aren't good, but generally they're not the dungeon master's fault. Sometimes they are. You know, you put them up against these eight dragons and, and the, the players have no chance to get away. Yeah, then, you know. But sometimes the players are just asking for it. Just saying. You folks have a good day. Be safe. God bless one and all.